Hello everyone, welcome to part 1 of what's going to be a series of videos in which I do my best to talk about NDesign and cover all of the components that we can use inside of it. And basically what NDesign is, it's kind of like Material UI in that it is a React library that, that if you install in React, gives you a lot of components that you can use in your React app and it just overall speeds up your development pro uh, process a lot. I am here at NDesign's documentation site and in my opinion, uh, NDesign just gives us like better documentation compared to Material UI and it's one of the biggest reasons why I would suggest you to use NDesign over something like Material UI. But before we can do anything with NDesign, um, let's just walk through the setup process of the entire workflow that we're going to use. So I'm going to go to the documentation site here and we're going to look for using Create React App. So open your terminal up. And then you want to run, uh, you want to install Node.js and NPM, of course. I'm going to leave it to you to do that. And once you have that installed, you can uh, run npx create-react-app and then the name of your app here. You can, you can choose any name for your app, doesn't matter. Uh, what I've done is I've, run, I've ran this command, npx create-react-app, nd. If I ls here, you can see that I have a folder called nd. I'm sorry if the color scheme isn't that great. I'm going to do my best to remember to change the color scheme of my terminal for the next video. So run this command and once this is your command is completed, you can go and cd into that directory that was created by create-react-app. Just a quick note for the rest of the videos. I'm In this uh, series, I'm going to be using yarn instead of npm. So if you don't have yarn, you can of course just substitute yarn with npm or, or you can just go ahead and install yarn. We now have a fully functioning uh, React app. If I do ls, you can see the, the directory structure of this directory that I'm in. But this is not what we are doing this uh, series for, right? We are talking about nd. So we have to install nd design. And we can do that by running yarn at nd. And let's let that run for a minute here. While this is installing nd, uh, I'm going to go to my VS Code editor here. I'm going to show you a few extensions I'm going to use. And if you want, you can install them and use them along with me. If you don't want to, you can leave them out. It doesn't matter. I'm using bracket pair colorizer to colorize my brackets so it looks nicer and it's more understandable. And I have prettier, which will automatically format my code uh, whenever I save it. So I can go to my preference here, uh, format on save, you can see I have that checked. So if you want to install Prettier and you, you want it to format your code to make it look nicer when you save your files, you can click this checkbox here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and clear out some of the stuff that I don't need in here. So I'm going to uh, delete all of these files because I don't really need them and I'm just going to leave app.js and index.js. So right click, delete and I'm going to delete these. So let's delete the logo, we don't need that. And then I'm going to clear the entire header, header here. So I'm just left with uh, the divs, and then I'm going to go to index.js, clear out index.css, and I'm going to remove report uh, web vitals. So now let's go ahead and fix that app.css here. You can see I'm leaving this in because I'm going to create uh, app.css again, and I'm going to put something in here, and it's going to be ND's uh, style sheets. So you can see in ND's documentations here, we have this uh, at import and then this location. So I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it in here. So if you don't uh, do this step here, you don't put the import into the app.css file, uh, your React app will still work, but the end designs uh, styles will not apply to your uh, components. So this is quite an important step. I keep forgetting every time I uh, create a new ND project. And in my divs, I'm going to add hello world, and then let's go to our terminal and let's start this app with the yarn start. And we can see we have our browser here and it says hello world because that's what I typed in here, hello world. Another thing to notice here is that every time you type uh, yarn start or npm start, create react app will automatically open a new tab in your browser and there's a way to disable that. I'm going to just show you to you really quickly here. So go to your package.json and go to your scripts and then the start script add this thing in front of your start script. Browser equals to none space. So by adding this environment variable to the start script, every time I run uh, yarn start or npm start, it's not going to automatically pop up a new browser tab for me and I can just reuse my existing browser, browser tabs. I'm going to show you that everything is working by making a simple button here in nd. So let me go and import a uh, button from nd. And then I'm going to go into div here and I'm just going to render that button here. Let's say this. Hi. Uh, hi, I am a button. Let's go and save that and uh, see if it appears in our page. And it's compiled and you can see that the button is there and I can, I can change the type of the button by going to the button tags at type equals to primary and then you can see it becomes a primary button. 
Now if you don't see a styled button here and you just see a regular HTML button, then chances are you forgot to add that import statement in your app.css and you forgot to import your app.css into your app.js. So that's just something that you have to do uh, to make sure your styles actually go through and render on your browser page. So let me uh, comment this out and you can see what I mean then. So now this is just a regular HTML button and if I uncomment this, you can see that it becomes a React and Design button. So in the next video, I'm going to talk more about how you can use and design buttons in React.